Kevin Street South Defence, good afternoon. I'm going to be doing another video now where uh, someone is in your space again and you're getting against a wall like or, or, or in an elevator like I did before. So this time I'm going to show you a different ice strike now and I can sh I'm going to show you a um, uh, like a snap, I, say, I call it a snap hammer punch, okay, when someone is very close to you, okay. So the first thing I'll do, uh, I'll do the, the uh, snap um, hammer punch, okay. So just say that person's really close to you like this, and you basically in, you're in panic mode, and obviously it's nearly you're like you're in your space. Um, so what you're gonna do? I'm gonna have my hands up like I do, okay, like I do to protect you, mate. Just in case he throws that headbutt and everything, so I can stop that headbutt or go to the side that way or like that, okay. When he's close to me, I'm gonna talk to him. I'm gonna look like back off, go away, get, get out of space, leave me alone. If he does not listen to reason, I'm going to do for, for what you call a snap hammer punch now. So it's going to be a small hammer punch and quick so it's boom like that so i'm going to snap it like that so it's not going to be like here and that that's too telegraphed it's going to be it's going to say it's going to be just say it's going to be there i'm going to boom like that. i'm going to smash like that so boom like that mark smoke last year will either knock him back or he'll probably he'll, he'll, obviously it will stun him or he'll probably stay there or he might come back i don't know if he might if he goes back i don't know so as soon as I go smash like that, elbow strap comes in next, elbow strap comes in after that, then the headbutt comes in. So it's boom, okay? Then I'm going to spin him around with the, with the shoulders again. But I'm not going to put him in the R and C like that. I'm going to put my arm over his head and have him like this. So basically, it'll be like, if I can, I can try and show you if I can. So basically, his, his head will be like really back like that, and I've got him like this, okay? So I've got him in a hold. It's usually called, uh, they usually call it in WWE uh, the Dragon Sleeper. The Undertaker used to do that move in, in WWE, okay? So he used to have them, the, the, the opponent round, his, his head is here, and he's, and he's leaning really back like that, okay? Then as soon as I've done that, I can drop straight down, and drop him straight down to the ground. Then I can have a stamp on him, his stomach or his chest or his ankle and walk away, okay? So, be here. Trying to talk to him, watch the headbutt. If he's very close to you, watch the headbutt because he, he, he could probably throw it in. So you got so make sure don't you have your hands down, have your hands up like this. So you, if he does throw the headbutt in, you can you can cover and stop it that way, or or you have your hands up so he throws it, you can stop it. Okay. So he's there like that, and I'm going to throw the snap hammer punch. Boom. So you, what are you doing with this hammer punch? You're not tell, like I say, you're not telegraphing. You're not doing this. You're dropping your weight down into that shot straight away like that. So it's smash. So it's it's like a jerk move, a jerk mo uh, mo uh, mo uh, movement like that. So it's like a it's like a jerk movement, with like a you know like a snap. It's called a snap hammer punch. So it's it's very small. So you're not going to see it. So you're going to boom. It's basically like the same thing as a one inch punch. Well, obviously, where it's like a ghost punch. I call this basically the ghost hammer punch, so it's here, so it's smash. That's going to hit the button on top of the chin, on the chin, okay? Then I'm going to throw the elbow strike in, the elbow strike in there. Then obviously if you want to, I can throw uh, the side headbutt or straight underneath headbutt or another or a normal headbutt, okay? So that's, then obviously I'm going to spin him around like that. I'm going to wrap his, wrap his, get his head, wrap him around here and I've got him like this, okay? Like in the Dragon Sleeper. So uh, I've got him like that. Then obviously he, he's going to be he's going to be flapping fish like fish out of water. He's not going to be start, he's not going to like letting me do that. He'll be flapping like this. So he's trying to escape it. And as soon as he escapes it, I can drop him straight down to the ground, slam him to the ground, stamp the stomach, stamp the chest. I can grab his arm, stand the ankle, and walk away. Okay, that's one option. <clears throat> Second option is where he's close again. So what I'm going to do now, I'm going to use my two fingers and stick it straight in his eyeballs okay like this so when he's close to me like this I'm going to do this obviously do that and I'm going to get my fingers and stick straight in you could do one or you can do two I'll do two so here like that line his eyeballs notice that you'll do this okay so as soon as I've, as soon as I've done that I've done that to him I can hit the ball strike again because obviously he's, he's made his focus with doing this because he can't see so I'm going to smash like that I can spin him around again, I can get him into that hold again, or I can spin him around again and throw him straight into the wall. So smash like that. Then when he's there, I can obviously hit him, pom 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 pom, 
elbow, 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 and that, and I can obviously put my arm around there and get me to the choke again if I want to. So this is really good, you know, these fingers. Or you can either use the, you can use the thumbs again that way, or you can use the thumbs that way and push his head back. So it depends which one you want to do. So you can, I can even use this. So if it's like that, I can use this in his, in his eye. I can use that one. I can do two. I can I can do that one there with two. I can do that one with two. I can do one, or I can do that one. Or I could even stick my fingers in the eyes, throat, throat strike. So it's one, boom, two. So as soon as I've done that with his eye, his eyeballs, boom, go for the throat strike. Then obviously I can. Spin, spin him around again, get him around again, like that. Or I could just space just foam straight into the wall again. So that's the other option that you can do. But um, just say <coughs> if you just say if he does throw that headbutt in, just say if, just say if you're there, and he and he goes to put his head back like this. I'm going to stop it like this with my elbow, like that. So if he if he tries to headbutt me. I'll be there, I'll be, like, I'll be like that for a cover. So when he headbutts me, he's going to headbutt my elbow. It'll be like that. Okay? So I'm still going to be covered there. So when he goes, if he goes like that and he goes like that, or if he, or if he doesn't telegraph and he just does this a bit, I'm still going to be there and I'm still going to have my, my elbow up. So as soon as he, his head hits my elbow, obviously that, that, that's going to stun him. Then I can grab him again and throw him straight into the wall. Or I can, or I can basically do elbow strats again, whatever I want to do. You know, like that, and obviously throat strikes, neck strikes, eyes again, whatever you want to do, like that. So, try not to get yourself in that situation, but you never know. But these are good. Fingers, if it's one finger, or if it's two, fi two fingers, okay? Thumbs, there, that one, that one, that one, that one, whichever you want to do, okay? But, um, you know, I mean, there's another one you could even do as well, where it's close to you again. So, so just say if he's close to you again like that, I can put my hand over his eyes like that, so he can't see. So if I put my hand over his eyes like that, I can throw, throw the throat strike in like that, or like that, or that way, or that way, or anything like that. So see, so, because so, obviously the first thing he'll do is try to move my hand off, because nobody wants to have their hand on the eyes like that. So basically I'm blinding him. So basically, I could even, Go for the eyes there again, then put my hand over there to to stop to to um to stop him from seeing. I can just put my hand over there anyway. Then obviously, like I say his throat will be exposed, or his neck will be exposed. I go smash, 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 like that. Then I can even change it from there to there again with the fingers. Then obviously, grab him throw him into the wall again, or I can just back, or I can twist him around and get him into that old again with his head like this and get with his old him back and drop him straight down again. So that's the option there. But you know, just be careful with the headbutt. I mean, if you if you do, you could even do another one as well. Where you try that. Uh, if you're like that and you're like that and you're covering up like this, a lot man, I don't have trouble. You're still stopping that headbutt. So if he tries to throw the headbutt, you still you still covered there. So if he hits, if throws the headbutt, I'm he's still covered. I'm still my arms are still covered. So so it's not going to headbutt me there. So if he goes like that. I'll be like that, and obviously I can go for the ball strike again, and obviously go for this, an elbow smash. That one again, I can go for a back fist, I can go for hammer punch, sad hammer punch, do anything I want, okay? But he might do it, he might not, but you can't really take that risk. So there you go. That's the video there, everybody, for the uh, another defence against the wall, or, or an elevated, a very tight space. So um, you never know, <clears throat> you never know if it will happen. It's best to cover it because you never know if you could get trapped in a corner or in an in a elevator and there's no room and it's and got you against the wall and, and stuff like that. But that that there, that in the eyeballs will, will most likely finish it anyway. Because if I put my fingers straight into his eyeballs and boom like that, and obviously the, the, the quick smash with the hammer punch. That, so when I mean, I can even go here. I'll, show, I'll go back to the on a bit again so you can see. So if I go, so I go smash like that, and go for another one if you want to go boom boom. So I can go hammer put, then snap hammer, hammer punch, snap hammer punch. I go one two, then I can throw the elbows in. So I go boom boom, headbutt again. Then I can obviously can throw him into the wall. So that's another option you can do as well. Or you can just do one one hammer uh, ghost punch, uh, ghost hammer punch here. 
you see that you're not going to see it because it's going to be quick boom so it's snap like i'm snapping it straight down it's not going to be telegraphed it's not going to be going about it's not going to be that it's going to be it's it's short and it's fast and it's quick okay so um oh, let's take my jump off it's going to hot on you yeah let's take this jump off right, i'm getting a bit warm um so there you go so remember snap hammer punch or you can do the other one snap hammer punch or ghost put or ghost hammer punch uh, i can call it the ghost hammer punch because obviously you can't see it so but remember if you try to headbutt you you can cover that that you can go to the side you can have the elbow up like that to stop it or you can have both elbows up like this so you can stop that out there but as well but make sure you can see the person no, <clears throat> make sure you can still see what they're doing. Don't, have, don't be like that so you can't see. Have some kind of gap there so you can see. Okay? So thanks for watching, watch, thanks for watching everybody. Don't forget to like and subscribe. Please share, comment, and I will see you again um, later on. Uh, I might do another video later on. I'm not sure, but I'm going to part in a minute because it's, it's nice and warm. It's going to go out but for a bit. So uh, <clears throat> it's all good. So cheers for watching. And... Um, I'm not sure, I might do a live later on, I'm not sure yet, so uh, um, I don't. I just stay off because I just want to have a day off, because I wasn't really in the mood, I didn't have any motivation yesterday to do a live yesterday, um, so I thought I'd have a day off, and that, so um, cheers for watching, and I'll see you again soon, bye. Habash! 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 Habash!